Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomer here with, well, another episode of Against the Storm. I want to see the rest of the tutorial and, well, see what it is like. So this is still the demo, of course, and part of the Steam Fest. Uh, if you have no idea what's going on, you can check out the first episode. And, uh, yeah, I kind of think this is kind of a really cute game, so... It is something I would enjoy to play, but we'll see if we have some time. But anyway, uh, read more reputation points. You can gain reputation points in three different ways, by successfully completing orders, exploring your surroundings, or keeping your villagers happy. Orders are very straightforward, you always get at least one reputation point for each of them. To gain a reputation for villagers' well-being, you have to increase their resolve so it reaches the reputation threshold indicated by a blue line on the resolve bar. After that, they will start generating reputation passively. With time, your villagers will become accustomed to their living conditions and their reputation threshold will go up, forcing you to satisfy more complex needs. To acquire reputation from exploring, you will have to cut your way through the forest to dangerous or forbidden glades and solve glade events located there. But beware, these events can be challenging at times or might require you to deliver special resources to them. Some perks or goods bought from traders can also increase your reputation. So yeah, reputation bar is this thing here. We have to get 2, 4, 6, 8 to win and then there's this impatience thing which is basically like... A time counter, alerts, pick a blueprint, pick a new building. You can pick a new building blueprint as a reward for some reputation points. So let's see, we have three homeless humans, three homeless beavers here and three lizards. Standard, I guess. The map is huge. Oh my god, it is so big. That's what she said. Okay, so what's this? Right, some meat, I guess. Let's choose a building. Okay. You're renowned grouse. You can now pick one of the available blueprint that the queen offers you. So, small farm can produce vegetables, grain from a small area of farm fields nearby. So, pick up. So, fertile soil. Farm fields can be built on this land to grow crops. A farm or plantation is required nearby. Uh, right. Farm field, small farm. Oh. Can only be placed on fertile soil. Requires a small farm. That's fertile soil. Okay, so we build a small farm. Right, so that's what the game wants us to do. Do we still have the buildings we unlocked last time? We do. Okay. Uh, what's this? Sacred Pyre. Lizard Firekeepers are very adept at ancient rites. Plus one to global resolve. Okay, so we got one of the lizards working here. Gives us global resolve. Uses all types of food. I mean, fuel here. Okay, resolve, reputation threshold 15, so if we get to 15, no, reputation threshold 30, and you, reputation threshold 30, why is for these two, reputation threshold 30, and for this one's reputation threshold 15, I don't know, let's see, what's our current mission, oh, trading post, what, uh, that I did not expect, Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's not play with that. I thought we got like a mission there we can do. Okay, well. Let's make the small farm, I guess. Uh, I think we should. Okay. Like, it seems like building it like. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, we can build one here and then one there to cover everything. This seems pretty good, but what about these things? This is for lizards, right? So maybe don't like over overgrow it there. Yeah, maybe do it like this first. Okay. And then can we do like uh, a farm field? Okay, how will that work out? So let's unpause and see. Uh, we also need to build them some nice houses. Uh, let's see, can we build a road through here? I think we can. Yeah, let's build the path here. I guess we build the path all around this thing, right? Okay. And then like this, and like this and like this and let's place three houses down to start things off we also need a woodcutter's hut right let's start wood cutting so we like open some areas up um uh, would be cool to like open this a little bit right sure uh let's see houses 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 need what do we still have the beaver house crude workstation trading post storage where are the houses anyway 
Oh, we can build another storage. It's like a small storage though. And we can build a trading post and small heart. Okay, so we now have expansions, kind of. Can't find the houses though. Crude workstation housing. We don't have any housing yet, really, game? Is that how we are playing now? Woodcutter's camp. Well, I want to build a woodcutter's camp either way. I place it down here, and if I remember collect correctly, correctly, you can move those. And I think we're gonna eventually build houses like is it too bad to place so many things down so things will not get built right away it might be better to wait a little bit but now we have like a million builders right everyone's building so it should be okay okay small field okay humans should be good at the uh, farming right you can speed it up there we go Okay, uh, vegetables, grain. Oh, wait, what? Can produce vegetables, grain from small area of farm fields nearby. Sown fields, plowed fields, produce goods, storage is empty. Okay. Uh, can we move this thing? We can. It's free, right? Yeah. So we could move it somewhere to try to cover all of this area up. But anyway, let's build some uh, let's build some farm fields. So this thing says it had half up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wonderful. Would you look at that? Okay, oh, now we need people. Okay, and then humans are the best, right? Yep, humans get bonuses from farming. So it says 10% chance to produce twice as much. Great, so that's like 10% more on average. Well, yeah, I would like them to prioritize that. Can we tell them? Well, now somebody's going there anyway. New orders. There we go. That's what I was thinking about. Okay, build a small farm. Farm field can only be placed on fertile soil. Okay, and then we get some humans and we get some barrels. Not sure what barrels are for, but that's fine. Okay. I'll send some beavers to get us some wood going. There we go. Wonderful. Can we build houses yet? No, we can't. Okay, so we are sowing some fields here. Wait, what? Uh, okay. So these are lizards. So these are humans. Yeah, these don't look like humans to me. But yeah, they're humans because these guys have beaver tails. Okay. Orders ready to complete. Wonderful. Deliver. Okay, next thing. Two woodcutter camps. Shelter. Can accommodate any villager but won't satisfy the need for species. Behaving housing has to be built near a heart. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, unlock the shelter, I guess. You're renowned gross. Um, there you go. You can build a shelter now. Yes, amazing. So we're gonna have three of these. How's the situation here? That looks pretty good. Uh, for this, what do we need? We need wood. Well, we are working on that, so that's good. Uh, let's place down like this. So let's go through that. Okay. And let's see, maybe we go towards the other direction as well to clean this place up a little bit. So let's see, we got a flex field here. That's like in the way. Uh, let's make another woodcutter camp. Woodcutter's camp. There we go. I'm going to do it like this. Uh, so like that. Okay. Right, okay, go my trusty beavers. We need some wood, so everyone's happy and stuff. Okay, and then we don't have any more beavers, so I guess we're gonna use a couple of lizards here until we get some. And a human, there we go. Wonderful. Okay, first house is done. I'm gonna build another one, and it's gonna make people happy. Happy, happy, what's this? 
A cornerstone, right. So these are like huge bonuses. No one can better the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation to your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. So it seems like this is permission, right? Reinforced tools, plus 50% to the amount of goods produced in the small farm. Five barrels per minute. I have no idea what barrels are. Um... Oh, probably for like drinks. And uh, let's go with more food here. I mean, without experience, it's really hard to say what's best, right? So, okay, can we like cut through to this meadow? Pretty please. To the glade, not to the meadow, to the glade. Right, and we're gonna need more houses because we just uh, had more people arrive. So, we're gonna place a couple more here, like that and that. There we go. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. So we had three, five, five homeless people. This should solve it as soon as we get some of the trees down. Orders are ready to complete. Yes, yes. So we're gonna unlock even more people. We're gonna get two beavers. Okay, and then we're gonna have to do trappers camp. Starting points for trappers, going to the well to collect meat. Mm, wonderful. Good, 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 good. And we get some nice resources. Okay, this tutorial is like so nice. It feels like, you know, super easy. Okay, I'm gonna put those beavers we just got here. I guess we're gonna put a lizard there. Okay. Good. And yeah, let's uh, let's unlock that thing. Trapper's camp. Starting points for trappers going out into the wild. And I think this is meat. So we're gonna pick those up. So trapper's camp. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do it like this for now, and we're gonna place a path through here. Oops. Yeah, I wish it selected the, the, the default path by default. Yep. Okay. But yeah, need more wood, sire. Well, we got beavers on the way. They're gonna get us some uh, trapper. Okay, that looks good. So this thing is maxed out, right? Uh, stone fields, 9 out of 12. Okay, plowed fields. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should be 12. Well, whatever. It's not in the range of everything, anything else anyway, so whatever. We can move this thing now a little bit closer to the wood. Not sure if this is good or it's just detrimental to what's going on, but hey. We'll do it anyway. Mm. Any homeless people? No homeless people, but we should stay vigilant and continue placing down houses anyway. So, uh, shelters, I want to say. There we go. Okay. A lizard, do you like collecting? Yes, you do. So that's really good. Let's replace this lizard here with a human. And there we go. Lizards like collecting meat. That's their favorite food, probably. Okay. Let's see. 12 out of 12. Nice. So, sewn, sewing is done. So, and like we are in drizzle year. Next clearance in 58. So, I think in the clearance period we, we sew, and then it comes the storm period where nothing happens, and then in the drizzle we like we do the thing again. Let's see what do we have here. Slick shell, brood motor, small, and root deposit. So, there's just some food and stuff there. Nothing super fancy. Okay, I'm gonna move this thing a little bit to the left now like here-ish and I'm gonna tell them to cut through there good oh let's say how to save good 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 always get a little bit um taken by that these are very dangerous glades so we'll probably wait with those no not rush them so now they're collecting meat so it's gonna finish the objective so I'm playing way faster this time the first episode I was like clicking on things and reading and exploring and so uh, but it's just a tutorial, so there's really no reason. Let's see. There's really no reason. Okay, so they are like cutting this thing down. So collecting the food here. And then what are they doing? Are they like sewing again inside the clearance? I guess. Okay. Okay, the order's complete. So what do we want? Two beavers on or a beaver and a lizard. We're gonna grab beavers. I just like woodcutting. These people have been sent by the crown. Which group do we want to s stay viceroy? The other will continue on to the next settlement. The royal stormwalker. We're gonna grab some beavers here. And we're gonna put another one here. And let's see. Okay, what's this thing? 
Moving goods to the storage. Okay, it says here what it is doing right now. We do not have any l homeless people, but we should stay ahead of the curve probably. Mm, how do we want to do this? Okay, let's move this thing. Moving is free. That's so weird that it's free, right? Well, I shouldn't complain. Can we fit a house inside here somewhere? Okay, this is a bit weird how we did it. Let's do like a house here and let's do like a path like that. And there should be like enough room for another house here as long as we remove this path here. Can we remove it? Or can we just build over it? Okay, there should be a demolish button. There we go. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, right, first yield, trapper's camp and meat. Orders are ready to complete. Good. Objective, smokehouse. Produces jerky. Uh, change the ingredient from insects to meat in the jerk recipe in the smokehouse. Okay. Jerk in the smokehouse. Produce jerky. Builder's pack. Any builder can carry five more items at once. That's nice. Barrels and nets. So we need to build a smokehouse. Well, first we need to unlock it. Yeah, renown grows. Nice. Uh, let's make a smokehouse. So I should probably build things which produce things like next to this thing. Or well, at least close enough. Uh, this thing is a little bit in the way though. You know what? I'll place it like here. Oh, this thing's big. Uh, that's what she said. Okay. Uh, huh. Okay, so three by three buildings now. Hmm. I would like to place it like here to tell you the truth, but that's not gonna be possible. Right, we're just gonna put it in here for now. There we go, the smokehouse. Mm -hmm. And let's build another house. Uh, well, maybe not yet. We should have fairly enough of these things. Go build that. Can we like prioritize it? Priority one. Oh, planks and fabric. Yeah, I don't think we have planks and fabric. So we'll not be able to build that. So for fabric, I believe we need to like, can produce planks and fabric. There we go. We need this thing, crude workstation. And this thing we need, to, I want this thing like right next to that. So, so we're going to move this thing for now. We're going to place it up here somewhere. There we go. And we're going to tell them to prioritize like clean this thing up a little bit so we can like place it down there and then this can wait for now there we go and we also gonna need some flex fields to actually get materials for planks for uh for fabric i believe i think for fabric we'll need flax and i think this is flex flex field yeah so we're gonna need a um, Trading post. Okay, I'm not gonna build a trading post just yet. Uh, okay. Yeah, this works. I guess we'll place it like here. Like right next to that thing. There we go. Oh, wait, what? We actually do have some. Okay, that's fine. Game gave me what we needed. Okay, so who likes to work in the smokehouse? Okay, we need to change the recipe, right? So, change ingredients in recipe. So, we want to produce jerky. So, in order to produce jerky, we need to change the insects, which we don't have, into meat, which we do have. Okay. I don't know. Production priority. Okay, let's not play with priorities for now. Let's see, humans don't like working here, and nobody likes working here. So, how many lizards do we have? Like three. Eh. So we'll, let's go and see if lizards... Let's put a human here and see if lizards like this job. They do. Okay, so we need a couple lizards now. We have one lizard in here. Uh, okay, and I think I removed one beaver from here, which is bad. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm missing people, actually. I need more people. 
Okay, so that's getting cleared. Uh, what did we want to put there anyway? Oh, the, the building which produces stuff. That's okay. Okay, now we can move this thing here. There we go. So it's a little bit closer. I don't know, do you lose goods if you move it? You might. Oh, somebody produced double. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna get storm here soon. I'm gonna put one person here. Uh, recipes. Okay, and then they're gonna collect that. That's wonderful. Okay, everything's good. So we just wait for the jerky now. So, okay, they're all producing jerky, right? One jerky, one jerky, one jerky. Okay. Out of insects. No, I changed the recipe, dude. I changed it. Into meat. Why does it still say insects? What's that? Hmm. That's weird. Did we break it? Oh, there we go. Okay, not sure what was that all about. Okay, what's in here? Some insects. <laughs> okay. Uh, and some fertile soil. Okay, that's fine. So we, now we wait for the jerky. Okay, we are done. So we can do the order. What are we going to get? Builder's pack, barrels. Okay, next one. Brewery can produce ale, pickled goods, pack of crops. Change ingredient in recipe. Right, so we need to do the brewery. Dude, but I need more people. Like, I'm so, like, low on people. Ale. Okay, so brewery next. Brewery can produce ale. And it's probably another big building, right? Yep, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, did I tell you to cut these things down so we can place some more buildings here? Well, maybe, you know, maybe not so much. Like... This should be enough, right? And you guys, you found that. Uh, I could move you here and you can help out, I guess. There we go. Nope. There we go. Good. And then comes the storm. Makes people unhappy. Minus four uh, global resolve. So they're not happy. They're like, no, why is this happening to us? Why are we here? <laughs> And this sucks so much. Sucks so much. Okay. I'll build a brewery now here somewhere ish. It seems like they gave me all the materials for these advanced buildings, and it sounds like these are advanced buildings. Just to teach me what's up, but uh, it feels like you would probably not have access to these otherwise. Okay, let's build that brewer then. Uh, okay, I still need to wait for them to remove that little part there. Let's see, can we move this thing and how much does it cost? Uh, oh, cannot move the smokehouse. Okay. Read more food. Food. Your villagers need to eat in order to survive. Who would have guessed? Every few minutes they will go on a break, gather around the heart. Let me just check something real fast. Okay. And try to get something edible from the storage. If nothing they like is available, like pickled goods for brew beavers, they will eat raw food. If there is no food whatsoever, villagers will get one stack of hunger effect. Each stack is a resolve penalty, and if the resolve of a specific species reaches zero, they will start leaving the settlement. And if you grow vegetables on your farm, the amount of food you produce will soon become insufficient for growing population. The solution is to process raw food and thus multiply it. As most recipes in the game yield more goods than raw ingredients in them, some perks can further increase that ratio or even generate additional food as a byproduct. Okay, cool. Right, so brewery. Does brewery, does beer or whatever this thing produces count as food? Probably, right? Okay, I don't need you to cut that anymore. Thank you very much. How are we doing with food here? So we got some jerky. That's probably for lizards. Lizards, do you like eating jerky? Oh, wait, what? Uh, they like the jerky. They like the jerky. Okay. So that makes them happy, happy. 
Come on, cut that thing down. Come on, faster. There you go. Wonderful job. You're the inspiration to us all. Okay, I'm gonna place the brewery down now. No builders available. Oh, hello there. Okay, let's uh, remove this person then. How do I remove it? Right click. Yes, get. Pick a cornerstone. A newcomers are waiting. We're finally. I was just about to say how it would be nice to get some more people. Um. Well, let's grab three people here. More is more. <laughs> okay, what's this? Cornerstone. No one can weather the storm alone. Efficient brewing, plus 50 to amount of goods produced in the brewery. Specialist grain farming techniques. Grain production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. Grain production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it is produced. So it's like, is it like cumulative? So it gets like better and better over time. Let's pick up that though. That will be good right away. Only homeless people, not yet, but let's place down another one of these because why not but we got some new people right so we got like a couple of lizards no we don't didn't get any lizards okay so three beavers there we have a lot of beavers apparently but anyway build it brewery done okay so we don't have any pottery we have some grain we don't have any pottery so instead we can use barrels there we go. Huh. It seems like it still says pottery here, but I don't think that's the case. Humans don't like to work here? Mm, really? Okay. But this is like brew for... Let's like uh, see if... Well, surely lizards don't, right? Nope, it doesn't really matter who you put in there. Okay, let's put the lizard back there though. Let's put the lizard back in its place. Okay, well, now you can cut through to there, and you can cut through to there, and... Oh, we now have some people left over, so let's remove this flex field, but... I think this is just a waste of time, really, the game doesn't want me to do that, or that, but okay. Trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Okay, let's move it then. Uh... There we go. Um, cool. No builders available. Uh, right. Well, we have like a million woodcutters. So what do we have here? Bleeding tooth mushroom, worm tongue nest, and fertile soil. Okay. I mean, probably don't need that many woodcutters to tell the truth. But uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. I'm gonna move one of these like here now. Okay, let's cut this thing down towards that blade. And you, you can go, you can do this one. There we go. Nice. Cool. Oh, save. Nice. Foot 110.53. So if this thing's going up, we should be doing fine, right? Uh, ale in brewery. Are you making ale, guys? You are making ale. Isn't that just wonderful? Impatience grows, but our reputation grows faster. Orders. Okay, still can't deliver. And then we got this thing here. This is probably like telling the game what to order and how much from the trading post. Orders. Okay, recipes. Okay, I see. Right. Well, the game will probably teach us how to do that, so. Right, game? Right. Orders are ready to complete. Wonderful. Objective. Tavern. Place where the villagers can fulfill needs. Leisure. Brawling. Passive effect. Gleam and stales. Leisure. Okay. A group of beavers will arrive. Some tools and some barrels. So they're gonna drink and they're gonna brawl and they're gonna have fun. A uh, place where villagers can fulfill needs. Okay, good. And let's make it so it's a tavern and it's another big building. Uh, it fits here, like, sort of. Uh, where do we want it? I mean, I guess we can build it, like, close to the heart, right? That would make sense, although... Hmm. 
like here you know what sure well right, right next to the place that the drinks are produced in the first place i guess that makes some sense okay what did we find here worm tongue next fertile soil okay there we go now we can go there this is not efficient i don't think so but whatever I just, I'm just curious to see what we'll find. Well, in the last one, we were finding some, like, bonuses. Like, we could pick, like, a bonus. Uh, oh, this is kind of weird. Oh, okay. Can we move this thing? There we go. I could get, like, half a rep from, from these glades and stuff. Not sure if this is good, but hey, there we go. Over time, this pad gave 5% movement bonus. It's like not super f like increasing efficiency, but every little bit helps, right? Okay, so these are collecting some meat here. These are wood cutting down. Okay, so we have like many jobless people and stuff. We actually have one. Okay, we're gonna leave them. That's our builder who's gonna build this whole pad by himself. Uh, we should increase priority of this thing though. Build that first, dude. No, he's still building there. Can what if we give priority minus one? Priority. Uh, doesn't say. Uh, hold shift to set a priority for all buildings of this type. Hmm. So. Well, priority one should make him go there and work there, but he's like, nope, I'm gonna build this path because I'm just a stupid beaver. Okay, don't say that. Beavers are like, beavers are like the cornerstone of our economy. Uh, so two of these, uh, or one of all of these, uh, don't really care too much. Doesn't really matter. Just grab one of them. At some point, you probably have to specialize, like uh, suck up to one of the groups and then the others. Okay, so here. Oh. Oh, really? That's cool. Uh, but yeah, so you probably cannot satisfy all three races. So at some point, you probably have to like improvise. I suppose. We should have more builders now, but they are like really, really want to build this path first. That's fine. Okay. Mm, I think the problem is we actually don't have the resources for it. So we need two more fabric. Uh, so we're gonna make a crude workstation here. So that's the problem. I was like, guys, you are slacking off. And they were like, dude, we don't have enough fabric to even make that thing. So I don't know who's slacking off, but it's not us. So yeah, I guess priority works. I just did not have the required resources. Okay, so now we're gonna produce the fabric that we lack from this flax here that we're collecting. A lot of food we have. What's this? Building materials. Okay. I mean, we build everything we need, so. Okay, this is a very long path to go. Mm, dangerous glade. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so this thing is done, so now they're producing fabric. Uh, so they're going to do what? Going to get ingredients, so he's grab some wood, so he's gonna make some planks, and you're gonna make some fabric, okay, and then we will be able to make that once you're done. There we go. Ale! Oh, that's the wrong building. Right, two fabric. No, only one. What does this mean, like four there? Well, we should have enough now to build. Okay, we have two. Good. Build it. Let's go. There we go. Mm, impatience meter going up. So we need a tavern. Well, we are building it. And then satisfy the leisure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be happy. This is way too far out, though. You know what? In there instead and you okay do we have any missions here no we don't uh you we're gonna place you 
What's the next closest one? Well, there's one pretty close here, but we don't really have anywhere to place this. I guess we can place it down here like that and then do like... Like this. Okay. We abandoned this thing, it's just way too much out. Because they get tired after a time. You probably need to place down like a, a small heart or something. Oh, we need some very specialist resources though for it, so. So, so because once they get here, they're like, oh, I'm hungry, I'm going back home. So they don't do much probably. I don't know if that's how it works, but I, that's how would, I would, that's how I would expect it to work. Okay, we're gonna need some workers in here though. And we have like none. Okay, what's this? Okay, let's say we don't need this for now. So we're gonna place them here. Are beavers good patrons? They're not. Okay. Pick a cornerstone. Yes, sure. Oh, right. More people as well. Uh, some vegetables, some copper bars, some clay. A two, three, two, three. Uh, let's grab some copper bars. Not sure what we're going to do with those, but hey. Cornerstone. No one can... Uh, cannibalism. Gain 3 to meat every time a villager dies or leaves. Plus 2 to meat production. Gain additional meat every yield from gathering farming or production. I'm going to grab that, of course. Uh, okay, this thing's still gathering meat. I'm going to move it. Uh, okay. Saving. Good. Okay, so people are coming here. Gleeman's Tales. Every evening a Gleeman tells the stories about the past glory and times before the Great Civil War. Plus three to global resolve. Same service building. Do not stack. Okay, cool. So they're drinking ale and they are brawling. But don't. I don't think we have training gear though. So they. So if we go here and check out. You will see that the brawling service is not fulfilled. But leisure here is and here. <laughs> the lizards are like, we don't drink ale. We fight each other and drink each other's blood or something. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, different races have different things they prioritize. But yeah, we don't have any training gear uh, that we could use to... Um, Make lizards happy. Harvester cam has no deposits nearby. Okay, you are done. Uh, let's move you. So let's see. Well, I don't see any flax anywhere. I'm going to place you down here. I'm just going to remove people out. There we go. So instead, you can like produce some goods. Because, I don't know. Just do it. And we have an extra beaver, which we can put back on wood cutting. But then we have oh, uh, zero zero zero. Okay, we'll still place some buildings down. Okay, this thing is a little bit weirdly placed. There we go. And let's place another house. There we go. Another shelter. I'm gonna get more people before long, probably. Everyone working hard and then drinking even harder, I guess. What's that? Nothing. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Favor this species and boost their resolve by five. Other species will suffer minus five. Lighter treatment. Oh, really? Oh, plus 0 0.15 reputation per minute. Really? Oh, we unlocked this thing. Your renown grows. This is because we, we put people over 30 threshold. Okay, so now we can choose. We can make a specialized building here. We're gonna pick beavers. We always always pick beavers. Beavers are our favorite. Okay. Uh, beaver house. Now we're talking. Uh, okay. There we go. Gonna need some planks for that, I believe. But we probably have some. We make some here, right? Yep. Can we like say do not produce fabric? Will that increase like the rate at which they're producing planks? Yes, it will. Hmm, wonderful. Okay. So for the beaver housing, but let's make it like that. Orders are ready to complete. So we're gonna get more beavers. Okay. And now we need human resolve. Keep human resolve above 25 for 30 seconds. And we kind of managed to do that already so we can just click on it and that's gonna win a submission i think that's all right 
Let's see what we get here though. Makeshift post can produce pack of crops, pack of provisions, pack of building materials. Mm, I don't get it. From where? From what exactly? Let's build that thing, I'm curious. 7.56, yeah, we're gaining resolve, so we're gonna win either way. Unless people get busy, but no. From what? Oh, from... Oh, okay, so from roots they produce crops, from herbs they produce provisions, and from planks they produce building materials. Oh, building materials. Okay. Anyway, we click here and we are done, right? We don't even see what the final mission is. Okay. Unlocked content. Shelter, makeshift post. Okay, level 2, level up. New citadel upgrades. Rain collector. Can produce water. Okay. Paved road. Ooh, 25... 20% 20 will just be increased. Now we are talking. Um, okay. Herbalist. Meat specialization. Cornerstone. Right, so this game is a roguelite, you unlock stuff and then you can choose things and you can tailor your gameplay experience, supposedly. Okay, rewards, uh, continue. So what are you gonna teach me now, game? It's gonna be, this is the end of the demo, thank you for playing. I'm really interested into this game, though. Oh, it's not yet. The world is a vast, ever-changing place and its heart lies the smoldering city. Your goal is a vice hero, is to help rebuild it and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. I really like how this looks, by the way. Use the resources you have gathered so far to construct the Obsidian Archive in the Smoldering City. Okay. Uh, so we... Okay, okay. Uh, level 2, experience 50 out of 150. Okay, buy upgrades. Oh, I see. Ooh, locked in demo. Fun. <laughs> right, so we can build this thing. What's this? Obsidian Archive. Queen's Patience, base stat. You gain a permanent minus 2% of the speed at which the Queen's Patience grows. Uh, a place where records about great visors are crapped. Unlocks deeds. Okay. Basic currency in the realm. Workers are eager to exchange their labor for food for their families. Can be used to buy upgrades. Unlock that and then after that what can we unlock? Do we have any more food? We have 10 more. You gain a permanent... Oh, some more. What about this thing? Oh, what did he tell us to unlock? Oh, he told us to unlock that and then we get another one. Okay, you gain plus 10% more citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement. How do we finish settlements though? Mm, it's like when you win, win. Buy upgrades, deeds. Ooh, hello. Discover 10 blades, first real expedition. Like, how do we go out of this thing? We press escape, yes. Okay. This world is governed by the eternal blight storm cycle. It's almost upon us, so no carvans are allowed to embark. Click on the button in the lower right corner of the screen to finish the cycle. Click to end the current cycle. Okay. The blight storm is coming. Settlements are abandoned. People are returning to the citadel. Gathered 20. Spent 10. Left 10. Experience gained this cycle 150. Unlock the content. Obsidian archive. End the cycle. Okay. Well, here comes the roguelite thing, I guess. Ooh. So everything gets destroyed and you start all over, right? I'm not sure that's such a great idea for the city builder, but, uh, you know, something new, something fresh, I guess. If done right, it could be good, I guess. You're almost ready to venture on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embark range. Okay. Effects and rewards. 16. Glades have an increased chance of including fertile soil. Okay, so here we can see the reward and effects. Now, I don't recognize the effects. Question mark. Okay. Well, I guess it would make sense to do it here, right? I mean... Makes sense. 
caravans. To embark, you must first choose a caravan that will become the foundation of your town's population. Set difficulty. Next, choose a difficulty. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. But be fair, an inexperienced wise road won't last very long on higher difficulties. Uh, right, settler. Negative effects, positive effects, effect range, hostility multiplier, max hostility 6. Pioneer. Embark points, minus 1. Negative effects, positive effects, hostility multiplier. Okay, so this is harder. And then, like, so easy, medium, hard, very hard, something like that. Okay. Lastly, use all your embark points to take extra goods with you. You are finally ready to embark on your own. I think I clicked way too fast there. <laughs> May the storm be gentle on you, Viceroy. Can I change my mind here? Yes, I can. So we can pick... Okay, so we can pick like... Okay, so two of these three. Uh, right, so if we choose Settler, we get an additional point. So we can pick all three of them, right? And then... Uh, let's see. Okay. Caravans... Not sure what's this all about. Not much we can do there. Modifiers. Decisional conditions, severity mild, additional effects, trees, natural resources. Okay, a little bit of information what's going on. I guess these are the people that's gonna be coming. So five of these, four of these, eight of these total, something like that. I mean, I would like to try Pioneer. Eggs, common food source. Roots, common food source. Wood. Uh, I'd say let's grab some food and some wood so we can like start building up right away. Maybe I don't know. Okay, embark. Right, let's see what it looks like. Let's see, let's see. A lot of things locked in the demo, I guess, but that's all right. So what's here? This fertile of ground, glass having. Okay, of course. What's this? Gift of the woodlands. The raw woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. Okay, cool. Gift from the woods. Gain 5 Ember for each Drizzle, plus an additional 5 Ember for every hostility level reached. I'm not sure yet what we use Ember for though. Didn't figure that one out. <laughs> During Drizzle, wine can be produced in the Rain Collector. Okay, and then bad things. Greater threat, out of fear, swarms. Okay, do we have to choose this or do we just gain them? Okay. Okay, so here we are. So we get to choose three things to start things off. So I think the little bit of randomness comes into the game right now. So tutorial really gave us everything we needed. But here now things opens up a little bit. Oh, sacrificing. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm going to save here and uh, we'll see the continuation of this in the in the next video so yeah we'll definitely play like one one more map here just to see how it feels when things are random but yeah hopefully you are enjoying the game because i kind of like it and uh, yeah if you do like subscribe comment suggest uh, you know interact that would be kind of cool in the meantime i wish you to have a wonderful day do something nice be kind to each other thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next episode the new standing out bye bye